Hey everybody. Welcome to another Sunday afternoon chat, chat on a soggy, rainy Sunday afternoon. Definitely soggy and rainy. We've got almost an inch of rain. You know, rain was forecast this morning to begin around nine o'clock. That's about what time we go to church. We leave here about 9.30. Our church starts at 10.30. Uh, beautiful sunshiny. Not a cloud in the sky, not anything when we left. So they missed that forecast. Uh, but it was forecast to rain later in the day, and uh, when we got out of church at uh, 10.30, 10.45, something like that, uh, 11.45, excuse me, we start at 10.30, get out at about 11.30, 11.45, depending on how windy Chopper is, and Chopper doesn't go long very often. If he goes long, he's wound up, he's really into it. We had a great church at Midway Hills Baptist Church between Sulphur and Davis, Oklahoma. Things are going great in Sulphur, by the way. Uh, but And it was raining when we got out of church. As I took Chris back out to the car, I parked quite a ways to the front door. And as I wheeled Chris back out there, and uh, just as I was loading her up in the car, she said, it's starting to rain. It's raining. I said, it's not raining. She said, it's starting to rain. And there was like one or two drops. But by, uh, by the time we got to, down to uh, down to, toward the middle of Sulphur, uh, Midway Hills is halfway between Sulphur and Davis is where it is time we got down there, it was raining, so uh, we decided not to go in and eat at a restaurant. So her Mother's Day, <laughs> her Mother's Day lunch, dinner, was it Sonic? <laughs> That's right, it's Sonic. And, uh, you know, they haven't been doing too, too good a job up there on their uh, cherry limeade lately, but they made a good one today. They actually put a cherry in it, which is you should have a cherry and a lime and a cherry limeade. And uh, they put a little cherry sweetener in there, so it was a, a lot better than what we got last week. We only bought one instead of two. I wish we'd have bought two like we did last week. But, uh, but anyway, we had a we, we had a Mother's Day lunch. Her and I together. Uh, her uh, her daughter Sherry called. Jamie called, and somehow we got mixed up on the connection. Jamie didn't even get to talk to her, so she heard from uh, from from both of her both of her children, and that was fantastic. That's always great. Uh, Apache and Shallon. Uh, well, Shallon is a. One of Apache's girlfriend's daughters, she's uh, going to college here in Oklahoma on a uh, softball scholarship. She played two years over here at Tishomingo. I think she's out at Southwestern right now. She's got only one year left. And, and they brought down yesterday evening, yesterday evening they brought down a half a dozen great big giant California strawberries dipped in chocolate. Three in chocolate, three in a strawberry or red chocolate. Uh, you know, just absolutely incredible. Uh, Chris and I ate two apiece. We ate two apiece. We saved two for this evening. And they also had a beautiful Mother's Day cake. So thank you, Apache, for that. That's just so good. Apache's mama's in uh, Mexico. He sends money to her. Uh, and today is, uh, yesterday was Mother's Day in Mexico, as a matter of fact. It was yesterday, not today. And uh, But I know that he sent some money or sent a gift down to his mama. But he brought uh, uh, Chris, uh, him and Shallon, uh, brought... Uh, Brought the cake, a beautiful cake, chocolate cake, beautiful blue dressing, and happy Mother's Day on it. Blue dressing, blue uh, icing, frosting, frosting, not dressing, frosting. And uh, dressing goes on salads. <laughs> but, uh, but, but it, it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, we ate that last night with some, uh, some uh, uh, bluebell ice cream, as a matter of fact. And so the cake was great. Uh, the rain let off here just a second, looks like. And I could hear it on the roof, and it's let off just a little bit. But uh, it's going to be supposed to rain kind of uh, all night, kind of all night. We had a great week this last week at the Eagle. We got a lot of cleaning up done from the tornado. And uh, speaking of the tornado, by the way, uh, our church in our church bulletin today uh, had a little sentence in there. And, and the preacher, you know, also uh, talked about it, is that we need no more donations for the sulfur, the tornado victims in sulfur, Oklahoma. Uh, well, there's been just so much outpouring of love, so much outpouring of gifts and things and stuff that it's amazing. We have so much stuff at Keys Baptist, uh, Midway Hills Baptist, Keys Baptist Church is over on Ten Killer. My other church, my other church when I'm over at Sherry and Jamie's. Uh, but uh, we have so much stuff there. We have so many, so many clothes. We have so much drinks and food and items that we don't, we don't need anymore. We stopped accepting donations of both money and of goods. Uh, our uh, Sunday offering last week, 20% of the Sunday offering last week, we put in the tornado fund. It was $3,800, almost $4,000 was 20% of our offering, $3,800. So uh, we are helping the tornado victims with that money and with all of those goodies. We just simply don't need any more. Our church doesn't need any more. I guess they need any more. They, 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 you know, obviously, labor is good up there. Uh, we've got uh, some of my friends have been helping out up there. And uh, it's one thing that 
that I have not got to do is go up and help any on the cleanup. I've just been so busy, you know. I've got a, more than a full-time job working 80, 90 hours a week, and and uh, in addition to taking care of Chris. So it's it's just a, I have not helped out on it other than monetarily. But uh, we got so many people still volunteering to help, and it's so good. But uh, it's amazing when the outpouring is so great that the uh, churches uh, say, oh, stop, stop. We don't need any more money. We don't need any more clothes. We don't need any more groceries. We don't need any more goods. And uh, so we're helping. And uh, in our church, the way we're doing it, it was helping the people that are members of our church first. And uh, then we help the family members of the members of our church, the people that they know, and then just everybody that needs help. We're helping everybody. All the churches in Sulphur are doing that. We've helped uh, uh, people just amazingly. And uh, that just shows you how good people really, really are. People are good. There's absolutely no doubt about it. How good people really are. So I just want to pass that on. Now, many of you all have asked about sending an address of where to send some money, but uh, we've got plenty. We've got plenty. We've got plenty. Sulphur, Oklahoma is doing good. Uh, the park looks, the national park there in Sulphur looks so much better than it did this time last week. And uh, there's a lot fewer trees, but uh, God will repair his land. He will heal his land uh, from all the torn up trees and stuff. And that park will be beautiful again shortly. And shortly, as a matter of fact, some areas of it right now, I can't, I won't say you can't tell there's a bit of tornado through there because you certainly can. But uh, so many of the areas are just, just really, 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 really good. Uh, this week, I've uh, uh, spent a couple of days, uh, uh, one day in appearance up in the uh, Walmart store in Sand Springs for the Shell Lube Rodeo. That's right, a Lube Rodeo. That's where the oil changers, and uh, they were doing timed events in there, and it was a great event. Had a huge amount of people up there. They just, it was a big event. Had a lot of fun. We had music up there playing, had live music going. We had, had a lot of several antique cars. We had food trucks, and I think that was all free, and drinks and stuff, and so it was great. I, I got, got up at 3.30 in the morning. Uh, Chris and I went up there. Jamie brought my Razor Rotella boat up there, and uh, we had that on display. And uh, uh, I stayed there until everybody started leaving about 1 o'clock. I stayed till about 2.30, stayed till about 2.30. I spent the night over at Sherry's, and uh, uh, it was just a, a, a great event, just, just a great event. Uh, Thursday, uh, I went fishing. I actually got to go fishing one day this week. I walked down to the dock one day and caught 31 crappie off the dock, by the way. Now, they were small. They were a little, uh, little smaller than that. They were that big. They were like that big. They were uh, maybe close to a pound. Uh, not, not probably didn't catch any over a pound. None that I probably would have kept. A few of them maybe 10 inches long. For those of you in the inches instead of pounds. A few maybe 10 inches long, but most of them six, seven, eight, nine inches long. But I caught them just cast after cast after cast, caught 31. Went back down there that evening and only caught three. So I guess I must have put a hook in just about all of them. But fishing marvelous hooks, didn't hurt them, turned them all back. They're all good. But uh, I did that one evening, but I got to go fishing actually Thursday. Uh, some of my friends from Kurt Manufacturing, who makes Kurt trailer hitches, they also make ranch hand uh, grills. I put a new ranch hand grill on the front of my Ram truck this week, my Expressway Ram truck. And it's just an incredibly great grill. I love it. As a matter of fact, there was a guy that parked just opposite of me at church this morning. Had one identical to mine. Had an identical grill to what I had on mine, a ranch hand grill. Uh, but I had some of my buddies from there, uh, John Robinson and Stan, uh, Rusty, um, Warren. Uh, we just had uh, Greg, Craig, Wallace. We just had, uh, I don't know, we had, we had several people in here. We actually fished with two boats. We fished a half a day over at Canyon, Canyon Lake. You see, if you've seen the video, Canyon Lake is completely full. It's running through the spillway. And uh, you use the ramp. The ramp's all the way up to the top. That's a lot, that's a lot more water than we had, isn't it? And uh, we fished over there, and I think we caught 57 or 58. That's the two boats together that morning by about 1 o'clock. We came in, ate lunch, went back out here, and uh, we caught 51 here. So we caught 100 and, either 107 or 180, either 51, 57, or 51, 58. I, I don't remember exactly which, but... So uh, 108 or 109 fish that day. We just had a blast. We just had a blast. And uh, Kurt trailer hitches and uh, ranch ham had a little contest they ran, and I took the winner out fishing, and we just just had a, had, had a ball, had a ball. Uh, just 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 had had so much fun. It was amazing. We caught a few more fish over at Canyon, but we caught a lot larger fish here at the Eagle. Uh, I guess the biggest we had over here was probably about six pounds. And uh, I believe that uh, I believe that Rusty caught that fish. I believe that Rusty caught it. Rusty was a trip winner. But we had a ball. I look out over there, just looking over there in the rain. I see my buddy Forrest over there, and, and he's just walking around, enjoying the rain, enjoying the cool day. It's 70 degrees here right now. It's just absolutely incredible. It's beautiful. 
But uh, that's how our week went. We had a great week those two days on appearances. We've got appearances coming up this week. If any of y'all are around Marquette, Michigan, this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I believe that will be 16, 17, 18. I will be at the L&M Fleet Supply Grand Opening. A grand opening. They have the greatest prices they'll ever have there this weekend. Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, I'll be there with my brand new Shell Rotella boat. Not the boat that we see here in, in the boat building, but the brand new one that I haven't even used yet. I used it in that one appearance, and uh, it doesn't have any scratches on it. It's got a little bit of rubs on the back of the, the wrap where I had the, the Ranger cover on it. But uh, but it, the boat's beautiful. Never been wet yet. Brand thinking new 2024 Ranger, 250 horsepower Mercury, big uh, power poles on it, a power pole uh, uh, trolling motor on it, ride height, Garmin LiveScope transducers. I mean, it's absolutely bloated. It's just absolutely a beautiful, beautiful, incredible boat. And uh, But I will have it up there in Marquette, Michigan. I'll be there on a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, this coming Thursday, Friday. I think that is 16, 17, 18. I may not have the dates exactly right. But anyway, it's just coming. I guess today's the 12th, so next Sunday will be the 19th, so I guess Saturday will be 18th, 17, 16, 16, 17, 18. And I'll be there pretty much all day, probably get over around 10 or 11 o'clock in the morning and be there until 4 or 5 o'clock that evening, every single day. So l &M Fleet Supply, that's a great chain up there in the north. Uh, it, uh, I, I've missed folks that sometimes I've said Farming Fleet. I think it's simply l &M Fleet Supply. Big giant uh, ag store and outdoor store, farm store, I call them. And, uh, but be sure and be there uh, this coming Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, I think that uh, the Milwaukee Tool people will be there. They'll be having free hot dogs, I suppose. Uh, and it just to be a great, great store opening. A lot of fun, a lot of stuff going on. I have my Ranger boat and my Ram truck parked out in front of that, and we'll just absolutely have a ball. So that's going to pretty much take up this coming week. I don't have much fishing unless I get to fish up there in, in Michigan. Last year when I was up there, you could buy a daily license for 10 bucks, and uh, I think I bought a daily license four out of the five days I was there. I probably could have bought a 10-day license for that. I don't know. Anyway, but I didn't know if I get to go fishing. I did get to go for like, you know, an hour or two every evening, and I I think I stayed and fished one Saturday with a friend of mine up there, Cody Cass, and uh, I've been in contact with him. The problem I have is Marquette, Michigan, is on the banks of Lake Superior. That is one of the Great Lakes. You think, the Great Lakes, smallmouth fishing, great time of the year, smallmouth fishing. And that's what I thought. But I talked to my buddy, Roland Martin, and I've talked to three or four other people since then, and Lake Superior is real cold. It's not a good smallmouth lake. It's not teeming with smallmouth like the other Great Lakes. There may seem to be some tributaries and stuff up there. So I haven't made any decisions about uh, fishing up there. If I do fish, I will uh, fly Pat up to Marquette on Saturday and maybe fish on Sunday and uh, head back Sunday night. But I probably will. Uh, uh, I probably will not be. I probably won't fish. I mean, unless the fishing is just really, really good. Unless it's really, really good, I won't go to all the expense and the money of flying uh, Pat up there and making him go fly up there and you know, like that on the weekend. But, uh, but anyway, we're really looking forward to going to, to l and Fleet Supply. It's going to be a great time up there. We're just, going to, we're just going to absolutely have a blast. We've got another Bass Pro Shop store coming up. We're going to be opening up next month. I think it's the last Wednesday of the month in June. We'll be in Grand Prairie, Texas. That's right, Grand Prairie, Texas, another Bass Pro Shop for the Dallas area. Roland and I will be fishing on Toledo Bend that week, so we're going to drive up from Toledo Bend and uh, be at that store on that Wednesday night. That's the last Wednesday in June. I will be at the Walmart in Fort Wayne, Indiana. I understand they have three there. I'll be at the one on Lima Road on the 31st of May. I'll be there the last the last day of May, I think, 31st of May. I want to think that might be on a Friday. Uh, we got quite a few uh, appearances booked this summer and this fall here in Oklahoma. Uh, we'll be at some of the Bomgar stores. Uh, Bomgar's bought out Orselin, so some of y'all that have been shopping Orselin store, that's uh, the new name of those stores will be Bomgar's. Those are good people. I've been working with them with uh, Shell Rotella for uh, for quite a while with Bungars, and uh, I'll be at several stores, I think four or five or six stores in Oklahoma through the rest of this year and maybe the early part of the next year. So we got a lot planned in personal appearances. I hope to see you all out there somewhere. I just, I, I, I'm so humbled at how many of you show up at our personal appearances. So many people on social media. We've been doing national television for 47 years. You know, we're on ESPN every Saturday morning the first six months of the year. And uh, we're on uh, uh, Discovery Channel, Heartland, Pursuit, uh, World Fishing Network, uh, My Family Television, Walk Television, uh, Space City, which is AT&T Sports Southwest down in Houston. Uh, about a dozen different networks. I can't remember them all right now off the top of my head. And, uh, and we've got a huge, huge television audience, obviously, all over the United States. But so many of you folks show up that are watching our, our YouTube channels, our, our, our Facebook, our Facebook is Jimmy Houston Outdoors, all capital letters, Facebook, YouTube channels. We have three YouTube channels. Be sure and subscribe to all of them. 
And I'm so humbled when so many of y'all that listen to our daily devotion, Catch a Better Life, which is its own separate channel now, Catch a Better Life. So I listen to those devotions every morning. I watch those devotions. Some of you say, I read those devotions daily. And many of you have the our book, Catch a Better Life. You can get that book at Jimmy Houston Outdoors or at JimmyHouston.com. Just JimmyHouston.com. We'll get it. You can get that book. We'll personalize them and autograph them for you. But I'm so humbled because so many of you show up at those promotions. But I enjoy fishing with you. I love looking at your fishing pictures and listening to your fishing stories. And I've always got a story or two myself. You know that. But uh, we're looking forward to another great week. Chris is doing good, by the way. Many of y'all ask all the time when we don't have Chris on here nearly as much. Uh, but she is just doing fa fantastic. She's talking better all the time. Uh, she uh, still can't walk. If we can get Chris walking, it will absolutely change her life remarkably if we can get her, get her to walk. And, and uh, she's been close to walking for quite some time. She just cannot keep her balance. She still can't feel her light leg, can't feel her arm, can't use her arm. I'd give it anything if I could have had her down there beside me on that dock the other evening. She's sitting up on the dock in her electric wheelchair, uh, her jazzy, uh, watching me catch fish. And I hold them up and she hollers at me and it's just, it's just fun. She's singing in church. She sang in church this morning and she's just doing remarkably well. Uh, it's been, uh, uh, well, it's been uh, 37 months now. We're, we're into the 38th month. May 5th was 37th month. So we're... We're into the fourth year since she's had this stroke, and, and she has just recovered incredibly well. She's fighting. She's still trying to walk. Uh, we've got uh, uh, physical therapists coming every week and, and uh, working with her, trying to walk, to get her to walk. And, and just uh, she's a fighter. She's a battler. She's just like she's in third place in the tournament and got one hour left to fish and needs to have one or two more fish fall out of heaven to win the tournament. That's exactly what she's doing, fighting this stroke. And she's beat so much of it already. It's just been absolutely fantastic how much of this stroke she's beat but uh, but we'll uh, we'll have her on her a little bit more as we get into the summertime and where she's out running around riding her jazzy around the yard quite a bit more we'll get her feeding some deer and, and uh, having some fun out there doing that uh, all the deer are doing great many of you ask how they handle through the storms they handle well uh, I uh, understand that some of the people lost their animals I know that um, uh, Daniel, I think, had, had a donkey that d d disappeared and they never have found. And, and Josh Sherman said they lost all their animals, is what he sent me a note or something. Or I think he commented maybe on one of my, our videos that he had lost all his animals. I've tried to call him, but I've not got an answer. But, uh, but anyway, everything's going great. We couldn't be any happier here on Twin Eagle Ranch. We've been cleaning up all week. We've got lots and lots and lots of cleanup to go. We've got a dock to repair, but it's floating. And uh, we'll repair it if we just have to take it apart and simply have a floating dock and build a new roof back on it. Build a new roof back on it, we might build a little bit bigger dock or something. You never can tell. We just, uh, we're always looking at some new adventure to, to tackle. But uh, things are great. We got the crawfish boil coming up Memorial Day weekend. That's uh, coming up just week after next, so we're looking forward to that. Got all my buddies coming up from Louisiana. Got a lot of friends from around this area right here. will be coming to that crawfish boil the Saturday night on Memorial Day weekend. So we're really looking forward to that. That's the only time of the year I get to eat crawfish. So it's a great one. My buddies in, in the, from Louisiana bring them up. And we'll uh, stock the lakes with crawfish also. We put in a 1,000 pounds for a long time. We put in 2,000 pounds a year. Put in 1,000 pounds now because it seems like if we put in 1,000, we have less of them die. And I think we just were carrying too many up here in, in the back of those pickups in the trailer. So uh, we cut back to 1,000 pounds uh, last year, year before last, and then we had a lot better success with them. And uh, so that's what we're doing. Most mama crawfish will make about 400 babies. I think 400, might be 200. I can't remember exactly, but they make a lot of babies. So all the mama crawfish, they'll be making more babies and the bass love them. And so uh, we got good crawfish populations in both lakes and we just keep seeding that every year to make sure we maintain those great crawfish populations because I know the bass are eating a lot of them. Uh, we've only seen one baby goose. I saw one in the yard early yesterday morning. <clears throat> it was, uh, I didn't go out there and take any pictures, but I saw one walking in the yard. The ones we had over there on that point, the uh, goose that had four eggs or something, they destroyed those eggs, probably a raccoon. Uh, but a critter got in there and destroyed those eggs before she could make those babies. But one uh, a pair of ge geese was in the yard this morning. They had one baby walking around. That's the only baby I've seen. Like I said earlier, Sherry's got four babies at her pond over to her house, so uh, uh, you just never know where those cat and the geese will show up. Uh, 
We're looking forward to this coming week. We're looking forward to being in Michigan. Looking forward to uh, visiting with the folks up there. Come out and see me. l and Fleet Supply next Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, 16, 17, 18 of May. Have you a great week out there. Don't let circumstances get you down. Don't let people steal your joy. Do you know that no one can steal your joy? I hear it all the time. Well, I had this person get all upset at me and stole my joy. I was feeling so good. I was having a great day. And it just I don't feel good now. You have to give it away. You have to let them steal your joy. They can't take it away from you. No matter what they do, you keep a positive mental attitude. You keep smiling. You just say, bless your heart. <laughs> bless your heart, you know, and, uh, and, and, and just go on. Say something nice back to them. You know, we get a few nasty comments on here. We got, we got one guy that's got a comment on here about said Jimmy Houston's never won a bass tournament. He's a fraud. He's not, he just can't even know, know, doesn't even know how to fish. I just say something nice back to him. I'm telling him I'm praying for him, and I am. Lots of people need prayer. Prayer for your friends. Pray for your friends. Pray for Chris and I. Pray for the people that's been hurt by all these wicked storms that's been running around the country. Not just here in Oklahoma, but all over, all over. And the southeast has been pretty good this year. But uh, you get down to Alabama, Georgia, that area, they, they fared pretty good. But up in Nebraska and Iowa and uh, Kansas, there's been a lot of places. Texas, there's been a lot of places been hard by this, hit hard by this wicked weather. So pray for all those people. Pray for all those people. God's listening. God wants you to have a great week out there too. So don't let anyone steal your joy. Just keep smiling. Keep trudging forward. God's working on your behalf every single day. And remember, I sure do love you.